Kentucky is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And he's taken down at the 21. The Gamecocks offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Green nine, green go. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's second and eight. Ball on the 36-yard line. Black five, go! They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. Number 97 makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll make it 31. Mike 40, Mike 40. Green eye, green. Tackle at the 40. Oh, this is a great job by this young man to get the ball out of his hands. He was facing an all-out blitz and didn't panic at all. It's a nice pass and a new set of downs to show for it. From the 40-yard line, first down. Green nine, green nine. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Number 18 makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. Four down, four down. Check mic 40, check mic 40. Red two, green nine. Hey, if you kill it, yeah. Lushed out, and he's going to get sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Here's the eighth play of the series. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. 
Right. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's taken down at the six. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. And now they should come away with pretty good field position, so consider that a big stop. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He got hit hard, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Steps out of bounds around the 39-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 39-yard line. He gets to about the 27-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Scrambling around. He's got the corner. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. That's good to five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five, ball on the 22-yard line. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, these kind of plays result in a lot of confidence from this defense and the defensive coordinator. I will not be surprised to see this defense continue to bring this kind of pressure against this offense. that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 22. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He guns it. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Tackle at the 43 yard line. And he hits him hard at the 35. So at the end of one quarter, this one's scoreless. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He makes it to the 35 yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. That's a team of two on the that makes it so Looks dangerous. like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Gets out to about the 31. They 
They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's hit immediately. Throw. This one's picked off. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Gamecocks. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. He hits the PAT. South Carolina is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Again with the run, he fights forward to about the 33. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 40-yard line. Six-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and goal. They're at the six. Second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. And this play is number eight on the drive. receiver in a hurry and he's tackled right away fourth down they're gonna go for the easy three here it's up and it is good Kentucky ready to kick this one off he kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
The Gamecocks team and their coaching staff, you got to give them credit because they know they got a star player, but sometimes you're not going to be the star in the first half and still they're winning the ball game. Nice job by both the team and the coaching staff to not just rely on one guy. I'm shocked by this, really. I mean, to think that this quarterback would play as average as he has played, and yet this team would have the lead through the first quarter and a half. I mean, it, it, it's shocking to me, and you're right. I think it speaks volumes about this coaching staff, their preparation. This team somehow still has the lead despite their leader up to this point really letting them down. South Carolina holds a four point lead. Go four, X, seven. Motion, motion, motion. Go. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop around the 42 yard line. Call it a gain of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. Orange three, orange. He guns it to the left. The defender had it and then dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Green nine, green nine. Green 15. Motion, motion. Pressured and brought down. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Fires this one. And that's his receiver who's wide open. He's taken down around the 21 yard line. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you're a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. What are you doing? So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. A minute left in the half. South Carolina is up four. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. <laughs> Quick throw. He's hit and taken down. South Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's tackled at the two. He scrambled, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 74 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now, 14 3. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 29. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. So that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. 
and they defended the play very well in the secondary. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out. Of I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, to try to come up with an exotic blitz look, to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Throws a strike over the middle. Tackle at the 45. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. South Carolina's in front by 11. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These teams only play one game a week, only 12 games in a normal regular season. I think fans have a hard time understanding why their squad can come out and play without any energy, any emotion. Keep it real with us. Tell us what it's like. Why is it hard for a player sometimes in a game like this? Well, if the fans showed the same emotion, then maybe we would too as a player. Because think about it. When I walk out there and I'm playing one of the big dogs, the stadium's rocking. They're, they're going crazy. They're going ballistic. They're hydrated. You know exactly what's going on. They're into it. They've been tailgating for hours. Well, there's a reason these little games they don't get up for us. They don't get as excited. They're not yelling and screaming as much. The, you could you could turn the it's like you turn the volume down at home. I mean, you can hear the difference. I know the difference. I know I'm supposed to beat this opponent. It's really a matter of just by how much I'm supposed to win by. So there is a difference. You can feel it in the fans, and, and you can feel it sometimes as a player. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled in the open field. Number 12 on the tackle at the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. All day. I'm coming after you. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Delta. Delta. He lets it go. Makes the grab and steps out right away. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He sails it long. And he holds it in. Touchdown! What a display of pure you know, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. South Carolina is up by four. And that one's incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's stopped behind the line.
Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's taken down around the 24-yard line. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. He's out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. the 36. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. From their own 36-yard line, third down. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. immediately tackled. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up and you know, set it down. And down he goes around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. down at about the 21. This is the ninth play of this drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Deep ball, laying it out there. It's intercepted. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. South Carolina holds a four-point lead. And they get nice yardage on that run. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally taken down at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Here comes the pressure, and they get the sack. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Easy, easy. 
Throws out on the screen, incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll get him for a loss. Here's the halfback on the screen. Loss of five there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. South Carolina is up four. Kicks up. And it's wide left, no good. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. That's a great tackle at midfield. And they make the stop at the 33 yard line. Here's a quick throw. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number nine, the intended receiver of the play. That makes it From the 33 yard line, second down, five wide. Out of bounds at the 30 yard line. That's good for the That makes it third and seven. And he's hit immediately. That makes it fourth and inches. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. South Carolina in front, 14-10. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. A short yardage defense here. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Question now in a one-possession game. Can they make it a two-possession game? They've got a chance to put this thing out of reach. South Carolina is up by four. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Red two. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. You're always looking for ways to get your playmakers involved, whether it's handing it off or just throwing it to him. From their own 37-yard line. It's first down. And he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. First down. Quick pass. 
He's at the 40. He's taken down right around the 36 yard line. Number four on the tackle at the 36 yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and ten. ten. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Green nine, green nine. Green go. Now he tries to buy some time. And they got him. The pressure got to him that time. Well, they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. South Carolina holds a four-point lead. Black five, black five, green eight. eight. Kill, kill. Panther two. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. This is the eighth play of this drive. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. South Carolina has got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Well, that drive was huge to set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there, like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oh, here we go, Herbie. you got to love it. Final few minutes. It's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's going to make a play to win this thing. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He's going to take off, and he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Now he's flushed and they got him. Offense lines up in a five wide set and the defense anticipating pass here. He's at midfield. Tackle at about the 47 yard line. Taken down around the 41 yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. He steps up at the 39. That's good for a game of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Larry, Larry, Larry! Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. It's a party now! And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of six yards. That'll make it fourth and 14.
this might be their last chance. Fourth down. Three down, three down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. And he might want it all here and does. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Under a minute left. Here's the halfback. Nice run there. The Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Kentucky will take their last timeout. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Go to the left for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Green nine, green nine. Takes a knee. And so that's going to do it. The Gamecocks get the victory, 17-10. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.